According to Urban Dictionary, that girl is known mostly on TikTok. That girl is a girl or any gender that gets up at 5 a.m., meditates, drinks smoothies, has showers every day, journaling, eating only healthy food, goes to gym every day, and is successful in many ways. This stereotype is typically on TikTok and films morning or night routines, most likely rich too. We usually idealize the idea of being that girl and see it as unattainable because of its aesthetics and the lifestyle requirements that come along with it. I used to see the trend as somewhat unachievable because the activities then require some level of privilege and great amount of free time. Also, the trend itself is dominated with certain types of demography. However, what we don't realize is the fact that we have been doing that girl lifestyle all along, but we never see it that way because it doesn't meet its aesthetics. I personally feel like I've been doing the that girl trend in more quote-unquote realistic ways in my day-to-day life, like planning, journaling, going to the gym, eating healthy food, and hustling. Yes, there are certain amounts of privilege that I'm acknowledging when it comes to, for example, accessibility of healthy food and gym membership, but for the stuff that can be done by the tip of our hands, like planning, we never really realized that we have been that girl all along. Therefore, here are a few realistic that girl routines that I've been doing in my daily life. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and share. Also, for more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything. Big Capricorn energy, but I like to plan things out. I mostly plan about what I'm going to do for the day or the next day or weeks to come. Also, I list out my to-do list. I usually use many mediums for planning and they're all filled with the same task, such as on my phone using colored note app, on momentum to-do list menu on browser, on notebook, and Google Calendar. So it's lunchtime, so I'm taking the food for today's lunch, which is from Healthy M Kitchen. I'm just going to take both so I can show it to you. So, every morning, like around 9 or 10, I will get these two delivered for one for lunch and one for dinner. I just signed up for like this healthy catering service for about a week. I mean, like this right now is the first week that I finally eat the healthy catering so I tried out the one week program and I want to see how it goes I also have like the meal plan also I also buy like this healthy lemon drink for morning and evening detox sort of so yeah I'm actually pretty excited because honestly I have not been eating pretty healthy and hopefully this is actually one of the ways I can actually eat healthy and maintain my diet and all that stuff so so I will lose weight because oh my god it's it's been so hard for me to lose weight for some reason so let's take a look since it's lunchtime so they, let's take a look on what is the lunch menu let's go and now on to the lunch menu which is what I'm going to eat mmm wow is that potato ah uh, so like we're getting edamame like meat and lettuce and this set of vegetables which include carrot and broccoli and also potato nice okay okay um oh my god i'm just excited like you know when you actually take a look at food and you just kind of know how your stomach is going to feel like i'm I legit, I legit can feel how my stomach will feel lighter after, after all of this, okay, honestly. Because they look so healthy and just light because it's vegetables and it's beans and it's not it's not much of like processed food or anything, but it's it's really healthy and you know what, I low-key am curious about the dinner, so I'm just gonna open it now. Wow. Hmm. Actually, I, I, I only ate like, oh God, it's so hard to bend it. Okay, good. So, I only ate like brown rice in college because there was like this one place who actually sold that in the canteen, in the cafeteria. Oh, this is actually like 
the gravy for the vegetables and this is actually like the chicken and the tofu it looks great it looks fresh actually i actually love vegetables i low-key love vegetables high-key actually and and whenever i i am i am able to eat vegetable it's like a treat you know like it's like a treat a healthy treat for my body so yeah i'm just pretty excited and there's also the hot sauce <sighs> what am i how can i live without hot sauce honestly and actually get this healthy lemon drink there's like an extra payment for it but it's actually like a detox drink that i have to drink before in the morning and in the evening but i actually got it at like drink at the same time when the food is delivered so i'm just going to drink it now also for like there are actually two bottles that i got so one of them will be will be drunk will i will drink it later in the evening before bed just like the, what the milk plan says honestly it tastes like pure lemon with what's it called like the seeds and it, it's refreshing and I, I can totally get why it needs to be consumed in the morning because it sort of like flushes your previous meal and you can you are able to take number two right afterwards it's actually really great like I actually love how pure it's pure lemon drink it's really refreshing and also like as for breakfast I actually ate oatmeal like three spoons of oatmeal and I actually mixed it with non-fat milk and it's actually based on a meal plan because yeah I just want to try I just want to try to follow the meal plan because hopefully it will actually work for my weight loss now that I've put it in the oven it's ready to eat it's finally time to eat my lunch In 2021, I started grad school and I recently finished my thesis after one and a half year of learning. And my classes were done online. Here is a clip of me attending one of my online classes this semester. Honestly, I prefer offline class so much better. I'm extroverted and I love socializing. Honestly, throughout grad school, I could only socialize through schoolwork and thesis. Because of that, I got too lazy to socialize outside those two. I've also been struggling with adjusting my social life post-grad. I can feel myself slowly isolating more because I realize that life happens to all of us. At times, I just feel like I'm annoying or much of a burden when I reach out, so I tend to internalize it by spending time alone. During online classes, tasks are also perceived differently because you have to scan your handwritten works and you interact on Zoom a lot. This is me working on my thesis. I have been working on it for two months, revisions included. I am studying law, so my thesis is about a case study analysis based on a verdict. Hopefully, I'll be graduating in a few days after presenting my thesis. I'm just so excited to start a new chapter in my life postgrad. It does get easier to see what's to come once I'm on the precipice of it. Since my thesis is a case study analysis, so my research includes analysis on the verdict, laws and regulations, as well as books on legal theories based on the topic. I also do consultation on every chapter and revisions right after I presented my research result a while ago.
I have also been listening to lots of Arabic trap while working on my thesis, like the ones on this playlist. Cool thing is how the top songs on this playlist are from Marvel's Moon Knight and I'm obsessed with the show because of its ancient Egypt civilization references. I'm a huge nerd on that one. And I'm also just happy to discover new music throughout the show. Lastly, I also journal. I've been journaling inconsistently because I'm trying to do shadow work, also some soul searching and knowing where I'm coming from, why I'm doing certain things, as well as my interests and passions. I also journal my feelings out just to dump everything into writing and it feels relaxing afterwards. I can also analyze my patterns and desires through my writings. It's been super helpful for me.